Goldilocks and the Three Bears, remastered by Gabby Nett. Once upon a time, there was a little girl with hair as bright as gold. Her name was Goldilocks. Now Goldilocks loved to walk in the forest without any adult supervision, because she didn't like authority. One day, as she explored a new path, she came upon a house in the middle of the forest. Compelled to check it out, she crept over to the house and peeked through its windows. It looked like no one was home. Goldilocks wanted a better look inside. She tried opening the door, but it was locked. Determined, she picked up a big rock and broke the window without a second thought. She took off her coat that her mother made for her and draped it along the window sill and pulled herself up through the window. Goldilocks was instantly hit with a sweet smell of porridge. Rather hungry from the effort of breaking into a house, she decided to find the food and try a bite. Goldilocks quickly found the dining room where the porridge sat. She looked at the three bowls with hunger. There were two big bowls and one small bowl. Goldilocks took a bite from the first big bowl, burning her tongue. Ow! That's too hot! She took a bite from the second big bowl. Her tongue is cooled, but because the porridge was cold, it didn't taste good. Gross! It's too cold! Tough! The small bowl was the best bowl. Yummy! That was just right! Eager to explore more, Goldilocks wondered about the house until she found the living room. There were two big chairs and one small chair. She sat on the first big one. It was like sitting on concrete. That's not soft enough. Goldilocks went to the second big chair. She sank down like a hot rock in a marshmallow. This is too soft. She then went to the small chair. It was nice and comfy, like sitting on a cloud. This is just right. She turned on the TV and watched some cartoons. After a while, she got tired and wanted to sleep in a bed. Goldilocks explored further and found the bedrooms upstairs. In one room, there is one big bed and another, a small bed. She went to the first room with the big bed. She lay down on one side. This is too firm. She rolled up to the other side. This is too soft. She got up with a pout. This must be one of those fancy sleep number beds. She walked into the room with the small bed. When she had her head on the pillow, she was fast asleep. The family of three bears were on their walk. Papa Bear got an alert from their home security app that there was suspicious activity at the house. Papa Bear turned to his husband and exclaimed with a big yell, We need to get back to the house now! Papa Bear picked up Baby Bear as Daddy Bear took the lead, beelining back to the house as he contacted the police. The Bear family arrived at home as the police screeched to a stop. Daddy Bear gasped, oh, The window! The Bear family rushed inside, followed by the police. In the dining room, the family stopped and looked around for anything missing. Someone took a bite of my porch! Daddy Bear roared. Someone took a bite of my porch, too! And look, they spat some out! Papa Bear screeched. Baby Bear dropped onto the floor, banging on the wood with his fist and feet. Someone ate my porch and they hadn't eaten it all! Investigating the living room, they noticed the chairs had been sat in and that the TV was on. Papa Bear crossed his arms. The audacity! Do they think they're gonna be paying the bills? Daddy Bear aggressively turns off the TV with a huff. <laughs> Upstairs, they looked in each room. In Papa Bear's and Daddy Bear's room, the blankets had become uncut. Someone had slept in our bed! Daddy Bear growled. And they didn't have the decency to tidy it back up! Papa Bear hissed. Baby Bear screeched at his father's. Someone slept in my bed! He rushed over to the side of his bed. Leaning down and close to the intruder, he growled with a big pout. And they're still there. Finally, after all the screaming and shouting, Goylox woke up. Seeing Baby Bear's face so close to hers, she screamed, like so. <clears throat> Goldilocks had fallen off the bed with a big thud. She had tried to run away, but the police had caught and arrested her. Unfortunately, throughout the chase, Goldilocks had managed to break a mirror, a coat rack, and not one, but two ceiling lights. Goldilocks was charged with breaking and entering, damage to personal possessions, and petty theft of porridge. However, since she was a minor, she was not sent to jail. As an alternative, Goldilocks' moms had to pay a hefty fine for each charge, and Goldilocks now has to have an adult supervision anytime she wants to go out on a walk. <laughs>